Was there another foot? Uh, I didn't see one. That's not I good. It is only one foot. Thank God. She got a dog. Is it choking? <laughs> So hopefully by now y'all seen the one birth, goat birth video that we had, the very first kidding we had on our farm, and she is just precious. Effie has named her Misty, and she is gray. So uh, I've still been keeping a super watchful eye on the four that we have left, two of which I feel like are gonna have more than one. Um, but again, I'm very, very new at this. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna flip it around. There's one here that's just been a little bit more standoffish today. Um, her bag seems a little bit tighter. Teeth seem a little bit more full, sort of in the ends. Um, so I don't know, she's kind of laid around, but she's still eating and goats are so funny. It seems like until they start pushing, you can't even tell that they're in labor. I'm sure that somebody that sees them all the time certainly can, but I'm definitely not that good at it yet, hopefully one day. So, um, so I'm gonna flip this around and let me show you. But this little mama down there, who I thought was actually in labor a couple days ago, kind of at a strain. She's definitely not pushing. She doesn't have any <laughs> mucusy stuff out or anything like that. And there's our sweet Pablo for those of y'all that remember Pablo. Oh, he's pretty blue eyes. He's so pretty. And then that's Pippi. It's our first baby goat. I'll have to put a link to that sweet video. Um, when we first brought her home. She was the sweetest thing. Oh my goodness, and she still is. Although I have a big bruise on the back of my leg where they were fighting over treats the other day and one of them took their horn and scraped it completely into the back of my thigh. With a nice bruise. You can get old, you bruise like a peach. But meanwhile, we are just kinda gonna be super vigilant about watching this girl today. Hi right, guys, I have on no makeup yet. It is a Friday morning and last night I came just walked down to where they're at and she had a little glob of mucusy discharge stuff like at her um right at the end of her vulva and i was like man i wish and she feeling of her ligaments and stuff they were completely gone yesterday from all that i can read and learn about goats and pelvic ligaments i've been trying to check them almost every day and hers was a drastic difference to where you could really not feel them at all and so i messaged a friend of mine and said, oh, I'm trying to decide whether to leave her out in the paddock or put her in a stall. She said, oh, I'll probably put her in a stall. Well, this is delivery week for Mac. He's so busy. He was already in the bed, but he wasn't asleep. And I said, oh, I wish I'd have moved the goat. And he said, oh, we'll speak now. Forever hold your peace. And so he was a saint last night and we came down and scooped her up. She put up no argument at all about coming in. Um, so she's in a stall by herself. I got up last night once to check on her and around six o'clock this morning to check on her. No baby. It's been a little bit more vocal probably. Um, but nothing going on. But now it almost looks like she's got a little string of mucus while she's laying here. So I'm going to sneak in there and see. Yeah. So I just was sneaking in to see. And she is doing some pushing here. We're going to have a baby super soon. Mm -hmm. So obviously she's in labor. She's, you'll see her have a few contractions here yeah. in a minute. She's being super vocal, which is not typical although last night she was a little bit more vocal so that kind of makes sense now she wants to leave her head against something so bad they say they talk to them like they'll talk to their belly a lot they're talking to in this part you're gonna see her lean around and lick her teeth which is kind of funny to me we've seen other goats do it while they were in labor and you know nipple stimulation for a human you know releases oxytocin which can help trigger um, labor or make those contractions stronger and lots of our goats have done this so I kind of feel like it's a natural call natural 
you know, way that they continue to make their labor progress. Just found it super duper interesting because got lots of questions from the kids about why is she doing that. So that's a Julie Ward take. I have not seen that on other websites, but that's just my own personal opinion. water bag right there. Push that open and that's going to bust in a second. Kind of like a bust. I don't even know now here as she's pushing you can start to see that water bag that's starting to, to push open like a little water blade. Like you can't hardly stand to not. I need to see some feeder or something in there. So at this point she's pushing and I can start to see a, a white hoof in there. This bag stayed intact so long that I couldn't tell whether it was one or two feet until the very end. With this next push, you're going to see her push out this whole second bag. So normally the darker bag is the one that comes first and then the clear colored bag with the baby in it. But hers, the, the clear bag with the hoof we saw first and then the placental sack and so both of those were all out for a while and we just could not tell what was in that sack <laughs> yeah. yeah no don't blame you sweet love you know i wonder if everyone's gonna understand what we're saying You can start to see, I see the tip of the nose. What you think, buddy? It's like it comes out now. It's sad to watch. Two of 
Even real labor does that. Like baby sometimes will come out so far and then in between contractions it goes back. During the next contraction, it'll come right back to where it was at. Yeah, see, so you can see it's out. Get behind me, yeah. I just want that back to break. I don't like that one. Oh, you know what? Crap, I only see one foot. Was there another foot? Oh, I didn't see That's not good. It's not good. It is only one foot. Thank God. Is she gonna die? I don't know. Feel the other foot? She's just helping mama. Well, the problem is I don't know. If she has another foot. She has another foot. Yeah. Damn it. What happened? Ah, uh, shoot. What's wrong? Can you just pull it out? Did her chest open up? I don't see another foot. Mm -hmm. Dad, gum it. Shoot her. It's okay. Mm. Uh, she's I don't know. The problem is I don't know where the other leg is. Mm. She's mm. choking on her. I, mean, I, I can't do a thing in the world about it, but try to help her get out. Mm. Huh? Yeah, help right, baby, I'm trying. No, both Breach? Uh huh? No, but baby, it's not a breach. Oh, you need help? Shoot. I can't even tell which. Did her leg get broke? It's not broken, baby. It's in there, but. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. You're almost there. Yeah. Is it choking? Yes. Oh. Yay! Good job! It's such a big. Yes. Oh my gosh, baby. another gray one! Such a big, baby. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh God. I'm sure that was not the yeah. best. Labor. Oh, man. Good job. Right, just leave her alone. Leave her alone. Good job, Mama. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Good job, Mama. That was a lot. That scared me. Well, let's just let her be for a second. Let's just see what she okay. does. This your baby. This your baby. It's all yours. Oh, my 
sendiri. and how they instinctively know to nurse. Okay. Like he knows it's down there somewhere. It's just insane. <laughs> That's not her. That's not your milk. Am I your milk friend? I want your belly. Uh oh, he's trying to find her. Uh -oh. She went to go see the other baby and to go to the bathroom. He needs to still nurse. He needs to be. You need a nurse. He needs to use all that energy to be nursing. He's so good. All right, no, that's good. I love when they do that. He's gonna be a little sucky, baby. Yes,